What are you doing for us today, Mark? Because I'm we're, hungry. We're going to make a laxa today. So this is it. This <laughs> is, what you say? Is yeah, it? Not, no, what the hell did <laughs> you call it? Alaska or Alaska, something. No, yeah. no, no, we're going to make a laxa. It's a country, yeah. So it's a Southeast Asian dish, you know, really popular around all those sort of countries there. Lots of variations. <laughs> yes. um, but basically, it's like a, a spicy soup. We've got coconut in there. Yeah. We've got lots of texture in there. We're going to do prawns and chicken today. And uh, heaps and heaps of chilli. Looks substantial looking at all of that. It'll be flavoursome and delicious, I am sure. Great to have you with us. We are here in the Beko Kitchen and this is going to be fantastic. A Malaysian noodle dish. Mm -hmm. It's a laksa. Not Alaska. That's, that's like a pudding, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, um, no, it's actually, yeah. yes, you're right. There's a lot to get through, so let's get cracking. Right, so basically we're going to split it down into a few things. Mm -hmm. We've got some chicken. We're going to yes. poach that down, so yes. we're going to make a little bit of a liquor here. Oh, cool. Right, so I've got chicken stock. I've got some water in there so it doesn't get too strong. Okay. That all gets brought up to the boil. Chicken stock boiling. Right, a little bit of soy goes okay. in there. Okay, cool. A little bit of luxa paste as well. Okay, cool. So right. we're starting to get those flavours in. And this is going to be the base of our um, soup as well. Okay, oh, right, this so smells so good. That's good. So that's mm. got all the flavours in you. Know? You can make that yourself if you want. You know, and basically what they do is just um, get loads of things, pound it down, loads of ingredients, and really sort of crush it in, get all those flavours together. Okay. Or you can just go to the supermarket and buy a jar of it. Okay, it's great. Really yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But that's, we're what bring this, that's what I would do usually. But no, you're teaching me stuff, and we're just going to bring this up to the boil. Yeah. A yeah. little bit of garlic in there. You can just okay, grate that cool. in as well. That just lifts the flavour. Okay, great. Right, and then we've got um, so we've got a couple of chicken breasts here. Just trim them up, and then we're just going to poach them in this stock. Okay. Um, just until they're cooked. So we're going to bring it up to the boil. You bring it up to the boil. Yeah. We'll, we'll lay our chicken in, we'll bring it back up to the boil again, and then we'll just turn it right down so it just simmers, so it just slowly cooks and poaches in there. Okay, We'll great. let it cool down, and then we can strip it or cut it or whatever you want. Nice. But then we're going to use that as the base. Okay, cool. Right. So we need a little bit of spice now. So I've got a little um, chilli paste, what we're going to do. So this is just some min uh, minced up chilies from uh, a jar. You could use fresh if you want, but we have got some more fresh chilies which we're going to add to the luxor a little bit later. Brilliant. A little bit of sugar in there, a little bit of sriracha sauce. This is really nice, this tastes amazing. Taste okay, that. cool. So that's really good. So it's sort of <laughs> Okay. And a little bit spicy. But it's really well, it's good waking me up for a Friday <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> no, but really spicy. And then just a splash of just some vegetable oil as well. And then, you know, we just mix all that together. And then that gives us a nice chilli paste. And from this, when we make our soup, we can just keep adding that to the level of spice what we want. OK, brilliant. So we've got a lot of control here. We like that. Right, so as soon as that comes up... To the can, boil. Um, yeah. Let's get in there. You can pop the chicken in. OK. Well, it smells quite good. That's it. I reckon you can put, put the chicken in now. That's yeah, she's fine. starting to bubble around the outside. OK, and so then this chicken here. We've got this, some of these nice bird's eye chilies as well, which we're going to uh, chop up with some lemongrass and some ginger, and that's going to be for the base of our laxa, what I'm going to show you in the second part. OK, great. There you go, chicken breasts are in. There you go. So bring back up to the boil, turn it down, and just cook it really slowly, probably about 15, 20 minutes. Okay, the slower cool. the better, just keep it nice and moist. Um, and then take, turn it off the heat, let it cool down, and then we can just strip it. OK, I'll keep an eye on it for you. Anything Lovely. else we need to do? No, no, I'm just going to do a bit of uh, chopping, and then uh, we're ready to cook our laxa. OK, brilliant. Sounds fantastic. Right now, though, we need to finish off what here in the kitchen, Mark? Right, the laxa. So we've got the chicken It's poached. We'll just turn yes. it off. It's just cooling down in the stock. Uh, it's going to keep nice and moist. We've got some lemongrass here. Yes. So we just cut the end off, because it's really woody. Yeah. Right, so take that off and take a couple of the outer layers off. OK. OK, because they're quite woody. And then we're going to chop that up. All right, these bits, don't waste it. I was just going to ask that. No, you can pop them in with your chicken. Just, right. you know, use all these bits uh, for extra flavour. Okay, fantastic. Right, so sharp knife, just really finely shred it. You have really finely shredded that. And then um, we're going to start cooking it. So you can put a little bit of oil in the pot. This one here? Yes, yep. please. Okay, cool. <laughs> Clearly the one that's empty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sweet. And then I've got some garlic, chilli, the lemongrass, and a little bit of ginger. And that goes in there, right? So you just keep stirring it around. Okay, cool. So we just want to give that a minute or so just to get all those aromas out. Um, you can either chop your ginger or, you know, just really easy because you used the grater before, just grate it as well, you know, so you get it nice and fine and it's an easy way to get maximum flavour like into any sort of dressings or soups or, you know, anything when you're working with garlic and ginger. It's really good. Oh, it's smelling good. It's going to be a bit spicy though, isn't it? A little bit, but okay. that's, that's what it's all about. But you said earlier we can control it, can't we, with air? Yeah, we, we, well, it's going to be spicy, so we can control it to make it spicy or very oh, spicy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we've got the base spice no, no, going. We, no, we can control it. Right, and then we've got some more laxa paste. Yep. Right, so that goes in there. 
And what we want to do now is turn up the heat a little bit and we're going to start toasting that. Okay. So you want to keep it on the go, you want to hear that sizzle and that all these aromas are going to come out at you now. You don't want to burn it, so just you know, keep, moving keep, it. keep an eye okay, on it. Good. It's getting too hot, you know, turn it down a little bit, but you want to do this over a, you know, a decent flame. Okay, how do you know that it's going too hot? Um, it just starts burning? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah you'll, you'll know, you'll see it. You okay, know? If good. it doesn't look right, then it's probably not right. You know? Okay, sweet. You know, trust Woo! your instincts. My goodness. That has got some kick to it. <laughs> but, you, but you can smell all those uh, aromas, aromas coming out. yeah. Because these are all, all these ingredients which have been mushed into this paste, you know, they're all raw, so we're cooking them now, you know? Right. And that heat is going to help bring them out okay. and soften those flavours. Are right. you happy? L yeah, yeah, no, good. So that's good. Um, a little bit of fish sauce goes in there now. Okay. And then some coconut cream. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So oh, that goes beautiful. in there. Bring it up to the boil. Yes. We'll have a look at our chicken. Okay. So, obviously it gives us a little bit longer, um, but let it cool down in the stock and then you get all these uh, beautiful sort of, um, you know, fresh flavours in the stock and, and, mm. and the meatiness as well from that chicken cooking it in. And we're going to pop a bit of that in there as well. Yum. You know, and there's, there's our base. So aromatic right yeah, now. Yeah, and that's I mean, it. It's and just it, incredible. And it's so simple as well. So bring it up to the boil, just take it over for like sort of 20 minutes, get all those flavours in there. In the meantime, let the chicken cool down. We can shred that or cut it if we want. Yep. You know. And then once you've got a really good flavour in here and you've seasoned it, a little bit of lime juice as well to lift it, and then we've got some prawns, all you're going to do with them, just drop them in. It takes about two minutes to cook. We've got some bean sprouts very last minute, just before you serve. Bean sprouts, you can put some coriander in there, and when you put the prawns in, pop the noodles in as well, and they'll just warm up. Okay, any specific type of noodles, just whatever noodles you want? Hey, you can use the, the Hockenheim noodles, the thick ones, or you can do the vermicelli, you know, anything you want. Okay, whatever, great. Whatever's up to you. And uh, taste it. If you want to increase that kick in there, you know, add a little bit of your chilli paste in. Nice. <laughs> just a little bit. That's good. That's oh! <laughs> right, I know. I'm getting used to this hot food. It's good. It's good for me. Good <laughs> during warm winter. You up. That's warm right. You up. Fantastic. Smells incredible. Can't wait to taste it. And you'll see the finished product a little later on. Right, Mark, it's time for you to display your talents because that smells incredible. Look at this. We are ready to go. Look, prawns are just cooked. <gasps> Bean sprouts are in there. I'm trying to do this as fast as I can, as neat as I can. That's uh, right, mate. We I've got plenty of time. I'm just waiting to go to the All Blacks <laughs> game tomorrow night. That's right, I've got a ticket. I'm going. <gasps> Happy yeah. Yeah. Good luck, All Blacks. Oh, I'm very jealous. A little bit of coriander. One. Serve some lime in there as well and some crispy shallots as well. Look at oh. that. Beautiful. Pop a little bit more sauce in there. Yeah. My goodness. Absolutely beautiful. There you go. Oh, beautiful. Champion, Mark. Ooh. Brilliant. You okay, what are, you on, what are you doing Monday? Oh, yeah, there we go. Perfect. I, I don't have time. I've got these eyes from Mel. It's like, hurry up. What are you doing? What are you doing, Monday? Uh, Monday, I've got a family favourite mac and cheese with a twist. Oh, yeah.